It's your boy, Lionheart, and I'm back. Feels good. Feels real good. So, Warriors, I know I've been gone a while. Sorry. Thank you. I still see you guys are watching my videos. Still subscribing. Subscribers are still going up. Words of support. Bro, you guys are just amazing. Thank you. Thank you, man. I, I really appreciate it. And that's why we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. From now till Christmas, we're going in. Right? And it starts off today. Today. With CD Projekt Red's Cyberpunk 2077. And unfortunately, this is going to be my first video back after over a month away with negativity. Unbelievable. I didn't want to do it. As Cyberpunk, CD Projekt Red have made me do it. What is going on? You know, the thing that makes me even more annoyed than the absolute trash fire that is Cyberpunk 2077 on the PS4 and Xbox One. It's the lies, man. It's the lies and the deception. Before the game came out, when there was, they even went and they lifted the embargo, right? They didn't want to sh let anybody or any reviewers or anybody that had the game to show the PS4 version or the console version, period. Hmm. That's very, very shady. Something ain't right. Something ain't right, man. But I didn't think it was in the realm of possibility to be as bad as it is. You gotta understand, man, I'm fresh off playing Devil May Cry 5. Resident Evil 3. Persona 5 Royale. I'm fresh off playing those games. God of War. I'm in the middle of playing God of War. Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Where the graphics look good. Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Look, the graphics are not incredible. Yeah, as they are on the PS, like you could see a huge difference between the PS5 version and the PS4 version of Miles Morales, but it still looks good on the PS4. Still looks alright, doable, right? And now it will hold me down until PlayStation 5 version that I get. And the only reason I did get a PlayStation 5 is like you and millions of others couldn't get a hold of one. And that's what leads us here today to why we are playing Cyberpunk on the base PS4. How can it be this bad? How can it be so bad, bro? That is awful. Like the frame rate, I've never experienced anything like it. You can't do, you can't get into gunfights in that game. Like the game literally goes into slow-mo mode. Right? Like the frame rate is like I would be shocked if it was over 13 frames. I'd be I'd be shocked if the frame rate was over 13. Shocked. Constant crashes. Constant. Non-stop crashes. I played that game. Within two hours, the game crashed eight times. I can't believe this. I'm part of this. And I purposely stay away from games that have got controversy or kind of madness because I don't want to be involved in this type of nonsense, right? Unbelievable. I'll be going down, the, uh, walking down a street or an alleyway or something like that, get on a bike, police just jump on me. Like, what the hell is this out of nowhere? I've got bullets firing at me. I'm in a gunfight, you know, fight, fighting against the tiger claws, yeah? I'm getting shot up. Then I go around the corner, 
and I'm still taking damage. No one's around me. I've literally just gone round the corner, yet I'm still taking massive damage. And I'm like, what is, what am I getting hit by? Nothing. I'm getting hit by the mystic forces of the astral plane or something like that. Like, what is going on? The cars, the graphics on the cars look so bad, bro. So bad. Like, I looked at, you look at the graphics in Night City Wire of the cars and the trailers and the cars look unbelievable. And then you get the game and then the cars just look whack. Like, we've been sold a lie. We've been duped, lied to, manipulated from pillar to post. And I don't want to hear nothing when people say, oh, the game was, was, the game was never going to be able to live up to the expectations that everybody had. Who set up those expectations? From the moment, from um, 2013. Unbelievable. Seven to eight years ago, man. Bro. Who set up those expectations? You're the ones that did it, CD Projekt Red. You set up these expectations. Even from 2013, yeah, to the last episode of Night City Wire where you were showing that game. With, like, the guns and how the abilities work and how romances work and relationships and the story and Keanu Reeves and the making of the vehicles and the sound effects that you're putting into it. You're the one that built it up. You're the one that will say, this game is going to be everything that we can possibly do. And I did say to myself, yeah, and I think I did a video of it where I said, it's a massive undertaking. For a company that has never done shooting before. They've never done a first person game before. They've never done a driving game before. And they're putting driving and shooting into one game. And skill tree with mad cybernetic abilities. Okay. Okay. I was very sceptical. But they kept on reiterating with all these smart, intelligent developers that we've got. We're doing incredible. This is everything that we've dreamed of. You know what? I think it was Night City White Episode 1. After I watched the episode, I pre-ordered the game. Until that point, I didn't pre-ordered it. Right, but I was just so impressed by the presentation. And I saw that they're going in. I was like, you know what, yeah, I like it. Let me be a part of this. Let's kill it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Couldn't be any further from the truth. This game is not ready. This they, They're in over their heads making this game. Crazy. For a hundred multi-million dollar company to not be ready for this undertaking bro but as i said before the thing that gets me is the lies if they had come out and said the ps4 version and the xbox one version it's not going so good guys we're gonna have to cancel it or put it back and just release the ps5 version and the pc version all right all right i'll be pissed as hell but i'd understand but they were making like the game is ready. The game is not ready. I even look at the PS4 and the PS5 version. There is not that much different of than um, stability. The PS5 is more stable than the PS4 version. But there's still even massive issues with the PS5 version. I literally think the only thing that the PS5 version doesn't have is the PS5 version probably isn't as unstable. And the graphics are better. A little bit better in the ps4 version but not that much better because i looked at the comparisons and they're pretty much the same thing which isn't surprising because the ps5 version is literally the ps4 version just stable ish and scaled and the actual proper 
PlayStation 5 version is going to come out sometime next year. Oh, boy. This game, man. This game is just shocking. Shocking, dude. And I was looking forward to it. And they are issuing refunds. I know that. But let me tell you the problem with that for me is. I bought the 2077 original soundtrack. I bought the EP. I bought the Cyberpunk 2077 radio. Volume 1. Bought the book. I bought the encyclopedia. For um, the whole of Night City Cyberpunk. I went in. I went in. And this is what we get. Unreal. Unreal, dude. I don't want to put CD Projekt in the same category in terms of deception, manipulation, and lies as Activision and EA. But they are pushing it. Bro. Bro, I'm not happy. I am not happy, man. I was into it. You're hyped. You're excited for something. And then you get let down like this. You know what? Yeah, it's okay. I'm still playing Miles Morales. Right? Spider-Man Miles Morales. That game is beautiful. Beautiful. That is, this is, that's the only game that's not let me down. Like, this is crazy. I feel like every game that was released this year has let me down. My expectations... They, no, nothing has met. There's only two games that have met my expectations this year, and that is Far Fantasy 7 Remake surpassed it in every way, shape, or form. Yeah, and Spider Man Miles Morales. That is it. Oh, yeah, and Persona 5 Royale. Right? Everything else has been a disappointment, overhyped, and let me down. Let me down, dude. And Cyberpunk is just such a unexpected disappointment of epic overwhelming proportion if you haven't got cyberpunk on the ps4 do not get it it's bad it's real real bad <sighs> and the thing is they're offering a refund but i've already gone in so much and if I stop that game and I refund it, I am done with that game. Like, I'm not getting it again. Like, I'm not getting it. The only thing I can do is play the game, you know, farm the hell out of the glitches that I found in that game. So I found, like, some mad glitches to make a lot of money, right, and get a lot of resources, do that, and then put the game down. And then when I get the PS5, I'll, I'll pick it back up. And I'll get the free PlayStation 5 upgrade. Even though I have no belief in CD Projekt Red now. That's it, they've killed it. They've killed it, man. Like, I have... It's unbelievable. They were up here in terms of my respect level. And now... Gone. There's not, they're not even on my respect, my res meter at all. Not at all, man. My respect meter is lowest denominated number. How do you go from Witcher 3 to this? How? You go through the world and then you will see NPCs. You talk to an NPC or someone in story and their mouth doesn't even move when they're talking. You go to somebody and you'll see like somebody throwing up and then a guy holding the person as they're throwing up and he talks to the person and the person is vomiting but then they say something like, hey, how are you doing? Those are really cool clothes you got on. You're throwing up on your friend's shoes and the person's talking about my clothes. Like, it doesn't even fit, man. I mean, the thing is, yeah, what I do notice at night time, the game does look different. Yeah, at night time, the game don't look so bad. 
They don't look so bad. I'll be honest with you. You look at that game, and then you don't do anything. You just go near a light or something like that, and you get some kind of lens flare, and then you see the city, and you got the music going, and then you walk back away from your TV screen, and the game actually looks alright. But then you pick up the pad and start to play, and then it falls apart again. And in daytime, that game looks atrocious. The game, the lights in that game, daytime, exposes that game. It just exposes every single floor in that game. The game ain't ready. Just be honest. And I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The game was not ready. From the time they said that, I said, there's no way, right, that this game is going to be ready in 21 days. I think in my video, what I talked about, the game's been delayed for 21 days. I said, can they really do anything in 21 days? I don't believe they can. I don't believe in 21 days is enough time to do anything. The, literally, the only thing they did in the 21 days was make it work on the PS4. Literally, that is all they did. They didn't fix nothing. There was a bloody 24 gig day one patch. 24 gigs, man. And then two, three days later, they released another 17 gig update. To fix glitches and bugs and just progress fixes because you can't progress in certain missions. Oh my god, bro. What are they doing? This is pathetic. Fed, man. Eight years, bro. And the thing is, yeah, I can't allow CD Project Red, man. No mercy. No mercy, bro. None. None for that. I can't forgive, like, you know, I didn't show Marvel Avengers any quarter, right? So how can I be, and everybody be ruthless and relentless on Marvel Avengers on their shortcomings and not Cyberpunk? It's bad, man. And then the lies on top of it, the lies and the deception and the manipulation. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You built up this beautiful relationship between you and gamers. And then just like that drop of a dime, you shatter it. You throw it all away. You piss it away. I mean, I would like to see how many units were sold on the PS4 and how many units were sold on the PS5 and on the PC. I am very confident that the PS4 has sold way more copies than the PS5 and the PC put together. I'm confident of that. I am unbelievably confident of that. So to say the PS... And it is what it is. It is what it is, man. And what's funny, that the game is in such a, such a terrible, terrible state, is... Say, three years ago, this game was, let's say four. Four years ago, this game was 100% being made for the PS4. There was no idea or concept for a PS5 about four years ago. That's, I can, I can confidently say that. And it's this bad? Bro. I want to say I'm over it, but I'm not over it. Because I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, you see. I've gone in so much of all of this stuff. With the soundtrack, with the books. With buying the game. Having my heart set on it. And then just having the rug pulled out from under me. Bro. Bro. And it's, I tell you nothing that's annoying me, yeah? Like, I can't get over the um, the graphics, if I'm being honest with you, and the frame rate. But it's the crashes on top of it. The game keeps on crashing. Like, I played it today, this morning, within an hour 
within an hour, man. The game crashed four times within one hour. Oh my gosh, bro. I got to Lizzie's bar, and in Lizzie's bar alone, that it crashed like three times. I think it was like two or no, three times when I was in Lizzie's bar. I couldn't even get past the conversation because of that. Oh my gosh, man. Bro, I don't want to go on and on and on about this Cyberpunk 2077 stuff. Right, but I just wanted to make a video talking about it because it's so... It's such an underwhelming game, right? Like, I, I'm a little bit down that I'm underwhelmed by the game. I mean, the graphics, yeah, but just in general, I am so underwhelmed, bro. And that's a stark contrast because I'm literally just playing God of War and Spider-Man Miles Morales. And I am overwhelmed. I'm happy and excited about what I'm playing. And then I get to the game that should be the game to end all games for this to this current moment in time. And I am so underwhelmed. It's just depressing. Let me not say depressing because depressing is a big word. Yeah, it is just so underwhelming. It's just miserable. Man. That's what I really want to say about it. I mean, if I could give this game one, one pro, it's the music. The music is godlike. The music is godlike. But then the music is compromised because the cars don't not only look horrible, but they handle like absolute garbage. Garbage. Like, what is this? Man, I've never played a game. I mean, I wouldn't mind if the game handled like something out of burnout, yeah, or need for speed, hot pursuit. I wouldn't want it to handle like a game like Forza Cars, but if it handled like Forza, yeah, I wouldn't mind. This game, the cars are just. I don't even know the word, man. They just don't handle well at all. <laughs> Warriors, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting me. You know, your words of encouragement means a lot to me. And watching right now, you guys are the best. The best! Uh, so, yeah, um, I want to say thank you. And I'm going to keep it going. Yeah, I've got more videos coming up. This is the beginning. The restart is starting right now. And leading up to Christmas, I'm going to be doing more videos. And I'm going to be playing live on stream as well. And then we can chat it up and get into it. If you want to talk about the cyberpunk, let me know your thoughts, views, comment section. You know, Rem, Ram, we're all watching the comment section. Yeah. And yeah. We're going to get into it. So, Warriors, take care, stay blessed, catch you soon.